How's it going, guys? Uh, thank you for uh, visiting us out here at Cinegear Los Angeles uh, 2012. We have uh, a couple things that we have that we're going to be showing out, but one of the things that uh, I guess we'll probably be good to talk about right now is is uh, basically show you what we have for the Epic and Scarlet. So if you look right over here, we can show just a couple of things that we have going on for this camera that James has uh, so kindly put up on his shoulder here. A couple of things that we have going on, um, just to start from, I'm going to go ahead and start from the bottom and work my way up. One of the things that our customers have been taking about, talking about us with the Mantis is that even with the gimbal and the shoulder pad, that it gets the Epic just a little bit too high for them and they wanted a solution that, that gets the camera a little bit more to eye level. So one of the things that we did is we actually came out with a new um, riser plate for the Epic. That riser plate, they, we have a standard one, which is the standard riser plate that you would use for, say, a red bridge plate, a high red bridge plate, BP9, what have you. But we actually extended it out a little bit more and added it this shoulder pad. This same shoulder pad is what's used for the F3, um, for the FS700, uh, 100, and all the other cameras that we have coming up. We just wanted to integrate it w within the camera that we have now. Just to the front of that, we actually have our new 19mm uh, red bridge plate. So this guy right here is now this. Most people that are accustomed to seeing the red bridge plate, um, they're accustomed to being about double the length. So, so we actually cut it down, put a little bit of a cheese plate around it, and kept it dedicated to 19 millimeter. Uh, going up from here, uh, going off the front of the riser plate is our ultralight 15 uh, standard rod, uh, rod bracket. Uh, everybody is going to be needing those, so we had to make sure that we implemented that. Off the side of the camera, um, we actually we actually designed this for a specific client for their needs, and now that they're happy with it, we can actually start talking about it. Uh, but as that is the Epic side plate, uh, this side plate will work for the Epic or the Scarlet, which you can see we have all of this mounted on the Scarlet. This integrates with either one of our bottom uh, riser plates, also integrates with our top plate. What this does is this gives you the cheese plates mounting onto the side of the camera, gives you protection for the side of the camera, and so gives you the access to, to your uh, start stop. From here you have the uh, rosette, and from this rosette we have a couple different things that you can build out from. So if you already have a Mantis and you want to just take off one of the Mantis handles, you can actually directly attach it. If if it gets you too tight in because you have um, your your wingspan is larger than other people's, you can actually put an extension, a rosette extension right there to just push this out more. Here's you see our standard uh, Mantis rod handle. Um, everybody's pretty much used to that. When we come along on the back side here, there's a lot of battery solutions out there right now. But most of the battery solutions that are out there actually uh, negates the fact that people, some people still want to put the red mode onto it. So what we did is we made it so that all it is is just a real clean, simple, easy, you know, almost, you know, foolproof uh, solution. And that is to put an extension bracket off the top here. So this lets you, allows you to still you have access to the red mode to pull it off and on. But it now allows you to put a battery onto the back of it. One of the biggest problems with this, depending upon the lens, is it tends to be front heavy. This allows us to mount a battery in the back and put more weight onto the back. From the top here, going up, is our uh, cheese handle. Cheese handle is available in a single handle, a dual handle, or a, over on this side here, a single handle with a collet, so you can actually use a 19 millimeter rod out of it. Coming up from the top, for those that are already familiar with our EVF mount, we actually redesigned it to make a mini EVF. So if you take a look at the clutch system that we have here, this is the original clutch that, that everybody knows and loves from the Red One days. We started integrating that, but the first things that we noticed is that it's a little bit overkill uh, for those people who are not rental houses. So that's where we came up with the mini clutch. It works and operates exactly the same way, uh, but it allows you to mount both the uh, the Red Pro monitor. It also allows, allows you to mount the, uh, uh, the bomb EVF itself. Everything else works exactly the same. It gives you um, all the all the movement that you would expect out of the out of the EVF mount, but it just does it with a smaller clutch. And then uh, just to continue off of the uh, side over here, uh, we're just just calling out the Epic Rocker panel, and all this does is just add a cheese plate, but also adds a rosette so that you can actually mount two two um, mattress holders onto the side of it.